Earlier in the day today, the heads of 145 companies, including Levi Strauss, Twitter, Uber, sent a letter to Senate leaders urging the expansion of background checks for all firearm sales. The call for Congress to address gun violence comes on the heels of Walmart's decision to no longer sell certain ammunition, including bullets for handguns and assault style rifles. It's also now asking customers not to openly carry firearms in its stores, even in states like Maine, where that is allowed by state law. Now a woman from Yarmouth who survived a mass shooting is helping lobby other retailers in Maine to follow Walmart's lead. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has the story. Dana Klein relies on her right hand to do pretty much everything. Her left hand and forearm shattered by a hollow point bullet after coming face to face with a killer. He eyed my pregnant belly and by some miracle I got my arm up in time. The bullet went through my left forearm and exploded. It was a hollow tip bullet. In July of 2006, Klein was working at the Jewish Federation of Greater Seattle when a gunman snuck in and started shooting. Her co-worker died in the stairwell trying to escape. Five other employees, including Klein, who was 17 weeks pregnant with her son Charlie, were shot. A police investigation later revealed the shooter's motivation, pure hatred. He had written a, um, a list of priority places for himself that he would like to get take out his anger on Jewish people as a mentally ill person. Klein is one of an estimated 10,000 people who survived a mass shooting, survivors who deal with lifelong disabilities and emotional scars. She works with SHOT, We the People, a nonprofit organization of survivors working to end gun violence. Klein received this email from Walmart thanking her for her advocacy. She feels the decision made by the country's largest retailer is a tipping point. Once people see that the decision to not sell or not allow open carry in retail space doesn't affect these companies' incomes. The nonprofit wants other retailers who sell guns and ammunition to follow suit, including Cabela's and the Kittery Trading Post. I feel it's corporate tyranny. Longtime customer Don Bellate hopes the sporting goods business doesn't give in to the pressure. I don't understand why corporations feel that um, it's up to them to basically keep us from buying something that's perfectly legal. We reached out to Kevin Adams, the owner of the Kittery Trading Post, for a comment, but he has not returned our phone calls. We also requested a statement from the National Rifle Association about the fact that more retailers are supporting other companies who are pulling ammunition and guns off their shelves. Klein says she won't stop fighting until more retailers take the necessary steps to make communities less at risk for gun violence. In Yarmouth, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.